So today we're going to start uh, the vectors portion of the MCV course, um, which is uh, chapter 6 on the online text. So what is a vector? So there's two ways you can represent a vector. One's an algebraic way, which we will do later, maybe a couple of days. But today we're just focusing on the geometric, basically what it looks like. So a vector is pretty much like a line segment. The only difference is it has a specific direction. So notice here you have the head, which has a little arrow that tells you exactly the direction where you're going. And a vector not only has a direction, but it has a magnitude, basically a value. For example, we actually did this a couple of weeks ago and we talked about velocity. You no, know, for example, five kilometers per hour, all right? But this is just a speed, but when you just put a direction to it, west, east, north, south, for example, let's go west, all right? We would get a negative, so we'll assume that going left is negative. So that is an example of a vector. So um, other examples of vectors we talked about are, are displacement. It has a magnitude and direction. Same thing for acceleration. Things that are not vectors, for example, um, uh, age. It's either you're five years old or 20 years old. It's not you, There is really no direction in that. All right, so here's a map. This is Canada, and this is, I guess, Europe. Ireland, Britain. And so here we have, I think this spot is St. John's, let's call it St. John's. And over here, is, let's call it I for Ireland. So the distance between here to here is, we'll assume it's 500 kilometers. It may not be the case, but I'm just making up a number. And notice how we have a uh, direction, northeast. So that's why you have the arrow here. So this vector, I can call it, I don't know, vector S for St. John's and I for Ireland. So with the arrow, you must have an arrow to indicate that it is a vector going from S to I. Uh, up here we have another vector um, going from the tip of, let's call this Labrador, to Iceland. So we have another vector which we can designate as L to I with a arrow on top. So if you know these vectors, I can take this vector and pretty much superimpose this on here where they're pretty much exactly the same vector. Now a vector that has the same magnitude, so they're both 500 kilometers, and the same direction at a certain same angle, and notice how they are parallel. These two vectors are actually equal vectors, which we'll move on to the next slide. Equal vectors. So equal vectors, the equal vectors are parallel, and we will, we don't use the word parallel a lot. We use in the vectors unit collinear, the same meaning parallel. Uh, they must have the same length, so the magnitude of AB has to have the same magnitude of CD, all right? And it has to go in the same direction. The arrows have to point in the same direction. Get these two here. Uh, notice how they have the same magnitude, but they're going in different directions. They're not even parallel. These ones here, they're parallel, but they don't have the same magnitude. This, these ones here, they don't have any of the above. They're not parallel, they don't have the same length. Whereas these two, these are considered equal vectors. One on top of each other, they superimpose. Okay. So the next type of vector is called opposite vector. So imagine from St. John's to Ireland. So here's from S to I. So we'll call this vector S I. But when you make a round trip in the opposite direction, so we start from I to S. I to S. Uh, now if I wrote this out, the statement is not true because they're not equal. The reason why they're not because they have a different direction. They're parallel, they have the same distance, but notice how one arrow is going in the opposite direction. We call these opposite vectors. Um, now, if you want to make the statement true, all right, this statement is false right now. If it's true, what should we do? Well, one thing we could do is we can take this one here and we can take the reflection. So basically, when you have a negative, you go in the opposite direction. So you just pretty much flip the arrows in the opposite direction. So these two are called opposite vectors. A unit vector, we will deal with this a little bit more later on, but so far for now, all you have to know is a unit vector is a vector, and the magnitude is just one. It could be one kilometers an hour, one meters per second in a certain direction. For now, we'll just leave it as that. We'll, we'll investigate this more later on throughout the, the course. So the very last thing we're going to do is the zero vector. It's, uh, it has zero, it pretty much speaks for itself. It has no magnitude. Um, there is no direction. And you can't really represent it as a tail to a head. It's just, there is no direction. So that's why we call it zero vector. 
Uh, where do we see zero vectors? Well, one really common one is, well, not moving at all, zero kilometers an hour, zero meters per second. Um, the next thing I would like for you guys to do is, uh, there's a YouTube video which I will post right after this slide, and this YouTube video is very interesting. Um, it's very dramatic, uh, it's in Japanese, um, and it is, has something to do directly with zero vectors, which we will extend to tomorrow's lesson. Um, what I want you guys to do for homework tonight is to translate, or attempt to translate, what is the, the guy trying to say, and how it's relating to vectors. So, enjoy!